Hi, Nathan. How are you doing today? Really good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so happy, excited to meet you. And uh, you are just so fantastic in this role. And I, I want to ask you, because you go in for an audition, I need to know how you convey somebody who's not going to talk, somebody who's completely, you know, costumed up. What's your secret? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you know, I, I did my research and I realized that Noir was a masked character. And so what I tried to do is I tried to physicalize his responses, you know, in moments that were appropriate, you know, in the script. So I, I auditioned with an A-train scene and a deep scene. Okay. And I tried to bring to life what he was feeling or what, you know, the characters were feeling through my body. You know, so there was, a, there was an undertone of, of physicality to the audition. Right. And that's how I communicated, like, this is how I will express myself in the suit. Yeah, and I can and, and you do a fantastic job at it, because it's, honestly, I don't know if I could be in that all day shooting, you know, you, you have the mask on and everything. How do you communicate with your co-stars? Like, I think you guys probably have way too much fun behind the scenes that we, we don't get to see. <laughs> it's so much fun. You know, what's funny is, like, the first time I met Aaron, I was in the super suit and I decided to just like, you know, play into a little. So she came up and I was just like totally still. And she's like, hey, nice to meet you. And I'm like, she's like, okay, you're freaking me out here. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's fun. <laughs> yes. um, like they can hear me, you know, so we can, we can yeah. talk. Yeah. But, but it definitely, you know, adds another dynamic on set. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, we, we, it's we just, yeah. yeah, I find it very fascinating. Now this show has just exploded. People are loving it. And, and yes, it comes from the, the, the comic and everything, but what do you think it is about these characters and, and why are we loving this show so much and connecting to it? I think the biggest thing is because, you know, we have these two pillars of comic book storytelling, DC and Marvel. Yeah. And they tell a certain type of story. They tell the idealized superhero story in a lot of ways. You know, with Marvel, they're, I think, you know, they layer their characters with a lot of flaws. You know, and DC does as well. But sure. you see superheroes at their highest potential. Right. And what we do here is we take that and we flip it on its head and say, what if Superman was a sociopath? What if... Yeah. Superheroes weren't working for the highest good, but for yeah. corporate, you know? And I think it's those questions that really reflect, you know, the society we live in and get us to take a deeper look at the dynamics that exist within society and ourselves. And it's because we offer this darker, grittier, um, more unpleasant psychological look, you know, at superheroes and you know that mythology that people really gravitate towards it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. And I wanted to know how you prepared for it, especially for you know the action and the, the yeah. There's violence and there's all this stuff going on. So how do you not just prepare physically but mentally to play a guy like this? Um, you know, it's it's funny because um, I think you know mentally. It's you just, what you do as an actor sometimes is you tap into different dimensions of yourself and you just heighten them, you take them to an extreme. You know, but for me, I grew up and uh, I did Taekwondo from the age of six to 16. Oh, okay. You know, so that, that combat element, that like, you know, shift into a mode where you're like just going to like fight someone until, you know, the bell rings. Yeah. That, was, that was in me, you know, I remember I remember I was um, fighting in a national championship. I think I was like 15. And my mindset was like, I'm going to go at this guy until he drops me. Wow. You know, and so that single mindedness, you know, bringing that to noir. And then, you know, the goofiness and the awkwardness and the randomness, um, just tapping into that part of myself, you yeah. know? And, and, you know, if, if we're honest, like, the, like, we don't always feel comfortable in every situation. You know, we feel out of place sometimes. We feel awkward. For sure. Awkward. Yeah. And so connecting to those parts of my life and then, you know, bringing them to life in the suit. It's amazing. It's like you've got the best of both worlds, I think, with this character. I don't know. Like, it's fun. It's so yeah. much fun. Yeah. yeah. And, and also the cast is so good, too. You know, when you're working with people like 
I don't know, uh, Carl Urban and, and you know, like, what do you take from learning, you know, from, from working with a guy like that who's been around for a while? You learn so much that you didn't even think there was to learn. You know, and I, I got to say, like, I remember, I think it was 2008, 2009, I went to see Star Trek with my friends. Yeah. And I remember, like, I remember driving away in my car, pretending, you know, my car was like a Starship Enterprise. And I was just like, <laughs> and then to be working with Carl, like, I don't know, 11 years later, is just, is mind blowing. Yeah, you know? it's so real. Yeah, I also like would watch Lord of the Rings with my friends and, you know, when I was a kid too. Uh, but you, they, there's just so much, so much knowledge and wisdom experience that you gain on the job. Right. And from working with people who've been doing it for decades. Um, it's, it's invaluable, you know, and um, everybody has, has a wisdom that I'm, I'm learning from. Oh, I'm sure. I have to wrap in a minute, but I have to ask you, I mean, obviously the show was shot in Toronto uh, pre-pandemic. What kind of fun do you have in the city? Any great haunts that you like to go to? Oh, man, so much fun. I'm, you know, from Mississauga, right? Yeah, so, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so getting, just, just getting to be home, you know, and, and be around my friends, you know, I love, you know, we love like Kensington Market, you know, Little Italy, um, you know, going down to King Street sometimes, you know, and, you know, uh, you know, I think once I took them over to Broadview Hotel. Nice. We there, you know, yeah. so Toronto is so full of so many amazing things to do. So it's, it's so great to, to get to come back and be home to work and then, you know, show them all these yeah. fun things. Yeah, you play guest host. It's great. Well, listen, congratulations on this. You're doing such a spectacular job. And, uh, you know, my, my, my older boys love this show and think you're just fantastic in it. So I wanted to give you a shout out for them. And uh, just so wonderful to have the opportunity to talk to you today. And, and fingers crossed for season three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Nathan. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye.